Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out the Victor Multi-Kill Electronic Mousetrap. It's a very high-tech mousetrap that claims it can kill up to 10 mice per use and up to 150 mice on one set of batteries. It's a very safe trap. It has a safety shutoff. You can use it anywhere indoors. It's not for outdoor use. It has easy disposal. There's a tray down here that fills up with the mice as they go up top and get shocked. Now I do receive quite a few comments on this trap. People want to know if it's worth the money. Now the high purchase price is the biggest concern I have with this trap. Typically you see them for sale between $70 and $100 each. But right now on the Victor Amazon store, they're running a deal where you can get two for $138.33. Now that's a whole lot of money for a few mouse traps, but I think it's worth a closer look. Let's take it out of the box. Well, here it is, the Victor M260 Multi-Kill Mousetrap. In the front is a tray. This is where you dump the dead mice out. They go in the kill chamber and then drop down. This will hold up to 10 mice. Here's where you add the batteries. It takes four C batteries. There's an on-off switch. On top is the kill chamber. It will turn around and drop the mice and then reset itself. To see that, we'll pull up the lid. This is a safety lid. There's a switch right here. It won't turn on when the lid's open. But with this plastic piece right here, it will push down the switch and activate it. There's the metal pads. The mouse will enter, go around this wall to a second wall, trying to get the bait on the end. When it touches multiple metal pads, it receives a lethal shock. And after that sequence, it will turn around, drop down, and reset for the next mouse. Now the mice enter right here. There's two flights of stairs. They can go on this side or this side and squeeze in for the bait. It's a really cool piece of technology, but I want to show you how it works. So let's put in the batteries, get some steel wool, and test it out. Now to demonstrate this, I'm going to have to deactivate the safety system by pushing down the switch. It's all ready to go. The mouse will enter and touch multiple metal pads. It goes through initial kill sequence, then it does a second kill sequence just to make sure. And then it resets for the next mouse. I'll show you this from the side angle. That is so cool, but will it work with the wild mice in the barn? Let's go set up the motion cameras and see how many mice we can get with the Victor Multi-Kill Mousetrap.
Well, last night, the Victor multi-kill mousetrap lived up to his name. Three mice came along, tried to get the bait, got shocked, and dropped down in the tray. It's not a full 10, but it's still pretty good. I don't want the mice we caught to go to waste, so we're going to feed them to wild animals. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys a mouse snack. So I have a situation here that's very unique to my YouTube channel. I'm sure there's no other person in the world that has to deal with this problem. And that is, I set up the mice at different locations because I depend on footage of wild animals coming along and eating them. It's been very cold, the mice have frozen, and there's no skunks, opossums, raccoons, or coyotes that have come along and gobbled them down. Tomorrow's Monday for my video, and I don't have any footage of wild animals eating the mice. I think a big problem is, since we got a dog, there's been fewer animals coming in the backyard. Maybe they can smell it, and they don't want to come where there's a predator. My only chance I have one day left is for a raptor to come. Those will come in the daytime and eat the mice, especially red-tailed hawks. So I'm going to set up the camera one last time, hoping a red-tailed hawk comes along. But to make sure that it sees the mice, I'm going to set up an old trick. Here's a feather on a string that will blow in the wind and get the attention, then they'll fly down and eat the mice. Hopefully this works or I might not have a video for tomorrow. We'll have to see. Come here, bear. If this doesn't work for the first time in Mousetrap Monday history, we won't have wild animals eating the mice. But we'll give it a shot. The hawks are very good at seeing things, so hopefully they'll gobble them down. We'll give it a chance. Now I have to admit, for me, that really came down to the wire. The animals don't know they have to cooperate and always come along and eat the mice we caught. I found myself Sunday afternoon and still didn't have the wildlife footage I needed for Monday's video. But at the last second, it appears the red-tailed hawk noticed the feather fluttering, flew down, and gobbled up the three mice we caught with the Victor multi-kill mousetrap. So thank you, red-tailed hawk, for cooperating. Overall, this is a very high-tech mousetrap that works well. It is a high volume mouse trap that catches up to 10 mice in one night and up to 150 mice on one set of batteries. But for me, that high price just isn't worth it. If you want a mouse trap that truly has a high catch rate, I recommend a better one like a bucket trap for the flip and slide, rolling log, or walk the plank. But if you're a high tech person that's willing to pay extra money for a cool gadget, this is the mouse trap for you. On this channel, I test out every mouse and rat trap I can get my hands on, from the cheap ones to expensive ones. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.